Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, we are going to play Stella Deus this time. I have had a, I don't know, bizarre obsession with these uh, strategy-based RPGs lately. I'm, I'm not really sure uh, why. The, uh, I think it started, I, you know, I played Vandal Hearts 1 there a couple weeks ago already. And then I did the second one. And then it made me think of Stella Deus and how I, I kind of feel like this is a really underrated game. Um, I really actually enjoy it. I like the uh, the aesthetics of the game. And, um, yeah, like the, I guess I, a lot of it's like the character design. I don't know, I just think it looks, it looks really good, so. All right, anyways, let's get started here. I know there's some... Um, there's some cutscenes and stuff right away, so I'm gonna try to not speak over those as as I usually do. But um, let me just check my options here. Um, the first time I oh yeah, these didn't save. Um, the first time I I played this, I couldn't figure out why the voices seemed so low, and this is why. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pump those voices all the way up. We'll see how this works, but or if this is uh, this is good enough. I think this looks pretty good, though. All right, so let's let's try it as is, and we'll just go to the new game. The land of Solemn, a continent engulfed in a deadly mist called the Miasma. Nothing swallowed by the ancient fog ever emerged. Miasma turned all to nothingness. This plague ushered in an age of despair. Humanity lost all hope and was driven to the brink of insanity. Thieves, traitors, and murderers led Solemn to chaos. The land became a hell on earth. However, a ray of hope sparkled in Solemn's darkest night. That hope was the Aque religion. The Aque preached the doctrine of a peaceful end. So it is as written. God's will for our broken world is destruction. Those who accept this and await their fate will be welcomed at his side. of the Aque freed people from their fear, but at the same time, it robbed them of their will to live. The chaos subsided. Apathy spread like a blanket as people awaited their peaceful end. Then, a man named Dignus stepped forward. Declaring himself overlord, Dignus gathered an army. He overthrew the kingdom of Fortuna, slaughtering the apathetic masses. As quickly as peace had come, fear began to stir the people of Solemn. Now, the source of that fear, the Overlord himself, is descending on our hero's village. I still can't find any spirits. At this rate, Solemn will be nothing but desert. And the miasma is getting worse. I have to do something. It's no use. I don't have time to collect more spirit energy myself. The miasma's closing in. I need more power. Ha! 
Still training? Pfizer, where were you? Taking care of business. I'm not sure how you keep this up, day after day, without tiring. I still need to master my father's sword. What about you? I noticed light coming from your room late last night. This world is dying. Even as we speak, it weakens. There isn't time to waste. Can Solemn really be saved? If I'm allowed to complete my research, then my alchemy will stop the miasma. And people will regain hope. I guess I don't understand. I don't even know how your Argyrian works. But I've made up my mind. I'll find a way to help you with my father's sword. What was that? Hmm. Spiro, it seems the time has come to test that swordsmanship of yours. Indeed. <clears throat> it's time. All right. Um. Oh, you can't move? What? Okay. This is so weird. Oh, right. Um, so there are three hidden treasures in this map, and we are going to get all of them. Because I said so. Um, Visor starts out here at level 5. He's an op he's a beast already. 260 health, whereas this girl only has like 100 something. Um... <clears throat> Can't remember exactly which square. It's one of these, though. But uh, yeah, so we'll we'll get that get that item uh, or one of the items uh, that's right there. So we'll move Spiro up here too. I'll probably just take out two of these guys also with uh, with visor, and then. Uh, Save the last one uh, for while we're, you know, getting the treasures. Hopefully, this is the spot. There it is. Oak shoes, right there. All right, cool. So let's move. Move down now. Um, we can play pretty aggressive with Visor because most of the enemies, unless they do a crit on him, he's, he's going to take like one damage. Um, I may just move him around a little bit though uh, to try to get a little bit more experience on Spiro. Uh, that's probably, to be honest, not that necessary. But, you know, why not? You know, I could also... It looks like Spiro actually can't move quite as far as Visor can. So maybe I'll just grab that other treasure with with Visor. Uh, this game uh, is really a lot... Uh, or uh, whether, whether or not you're successful with this game is really in how you, you move around. And... Um, I guess, yeah... <laughs> Can say like how well you know how the com uh, the combat system works, but like that's probably just obvious. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, a lot of it actually is just like knowing that generally what you want to do is you want to um, you know not move a ton uh, because movement takes up kind of like your uh, I guess I don't know what they call it uh, in this game, but. Um, basically, you can you can deal a ton of damage if you don't have to use your turn moving, right? Uh, Spiro, for instance, can attack. I think it's like three times if he hasn't moved. Um, so you know, generally, uh, it's a good idea to let the enemies come to you. Um, that way, you know, again. Uh, you can kind of just let loose on them. 
Here's where there's a, another item there. There's the Vigor Seed. Um, the only thing with this one, I'm not sure how how it works for um, like when you attack from behind and stuff. Like I don't I don't remember if there's there's usually in these tactical base or these like tactics games there's usually a benefit to attacking either from the side or the back. I assume that's the case with this game as well. We'll have to see, but Elk Advisor can move so far. And oddly, they really want to... Oh, oh, Jesus. I had to open my mouth. I was going to say, oddly, they keep focusing on him, but now these guys are coming for uh, Spearhawk as well. So. And honestly, we really don't want him. We really don't want him taking a bunch of damage. So. <clears throat> Uh, also, just by uh, ending your turn, uh, it doesn't really... By, uh, by not moving and just hitting defend, uh, it doesn't take up, like, defending doesn't take up much time, right? So now, he, if you notice here, Visor just keeps getting turns over and over, like back to back. And that's why, because he's just defending, so. Um... <clears throat> I kind of just want to take this guy out, but I kind of want to do, no, let's just wait here. I want to do that with, I want to try to do a team attack with Spiro. Oh my god. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> I should have, uh, I should have just killed him, because now Spiro is in really rough shape here. this is a good idea or not. Nope, it's not. Well. Yeah, I got kind of greedy here, and I should have just, uh... Get ready. Don't rush. Don't rush. Yeah, I should have, uh, I should have hacked these guys down a little bit more with Visor, probably, and just not worried about... health yeah restores a small amount of health okay okay well crisis averted I believe well maybe <laughs> I should probably try to block him as well or block some of these enemies oof Crit. That didn't feel good. I should... Powerful science. The power of science overwhelms a foe. He puts on some wicked glasses there, too, whenever he casts a spell. It looks kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to leave him here. And I'm going to... This guy's basically dead. Okay, perfect. Take this. There is one more item that I have to get here. I just, uh... Who's next? Okay, well, we're looking a lot better now.
Just trying to sc trying to squeeze out every last bit of uh, experience I can here. All right, there we go. Now I can get Spiro into the back here, and uh, I'm gonna go try to grab this tre uh, treasure. Oh, he's at full. Okay. Well, I guess he'll just heal himself. Um, all right, finish. Bring it on. Yeah, um, anyways, yeah, I, I just, I think that this game is really underrated. I think that, um, like, graphically speaking for its time, I think it was pretty decent. Um, and... The only, I guess the only thing is it's not quite like, so like Tactics, uh, like Final Fantasy Tactics is, is generally the game that I, I stack most of these, you know, ta tactic style games up against, uh, is, because it's my favorite, um, is a lot more, um, you've got a lot more for like options, I guess I would say, because like, you know, aside, aside from the special characters who have their own special jobs, Really, you know, your characters have so many options as far as what they can, um, what they can be, right? Like you can, you can just have a, a group of archers, you know, if you wanted to. Whereas, like Stella Deus is, you're you know, you're really limited to um, certain, I guess whatever. Like you you don't really ch change your class, right? Everybody's got a, and everybody's got a set skill. Um, set of skills i guess that they can learn right now you get there's a lot of options in which ones you actually choose to use but um but yeah it's not quite like you know like the main character's not going to be an archer like a, that just that's not an option so so it's a little bit more like uh vandal hearts that way though i guess even vandal hearts has some some amount of uh of customizability right like uh, really, all of your archers can either be archers or hawkmen, right? Or your swordsmen can be, you know, guardsmen instead and, like, ha have a heavier, you know, armor. But uh, not the case with this one. All right, so anyways, this is uh, what we got. We got the oak shoes. We got, and it looks like, so we got two vigor seeds, which I assume means that one is, like, the base reward for this. And then we found the amulet at the end as well. So it looks like it, it lists all of the treasures that we were able to find as well as anything that we actually got from the enemies. So, um, also, I didn't mention it when I when I actually did it, but the, using those uh, like combo attacks uh, are a really way uh, a good way to uh, to finish off enemies. I think typically you get more experience and stuff that way. I think uh, if I'm remembering correctly, it's I'm a little rusty on the mechanics, so we'll have to hammer some of that out as we go, but. Um, all right, anyways, let's move on. We're going to have some more dialogue and stuff to, to take care of here. I see that the rumors were true. I'm impressed the two of you killed all those soldiers. What other tricks do you know? Who are you? Greetings. Loyal retainer of Dignus, the Grand Oak. The name's Echidna. I've heard about Dignus. He seized control in Fortuna, terrorized nearby villages, and massacred innocent people. What do you want here? You are mistaken, boy. We are merely setting people. You're insane. <laughs> We're here on business, so we don't have time for child's play. Why don't you try again in about ten years, little man? What? How dare you? Stop this, Spiro. I like your moves, boy. 
It's a shame you're five years too young for me. Of course, those are five years you no longer have. Wait. Your business is with me. Leave him alone. Leave this to me, Lord Dignus. We are searching for Alcon, the lost art of Alcon. We believe it will make Overlord Dignus's ideals a reality. A skilled alchemist lives in this village, and he will have the extreme honor of serving Lord Dignus. This is crazy. Visor would never help me. Silence! You are in the Overlord's presence. I understand. The Imperial Legion has my cooperation. However, if you harm Spiro or any other member of this village, my alchemy will destroy you. Luck is on your side today. Visor, what are you saying? Be patient. We don't have much choice at the moment. <coughs> oh. Okay. Thank you, Spiro. You have what you came for. You saved us a lot of trouble. I'm sure you'll do your best to further the Overlord's ideas. Wait, this is... It looks like this katana is too much for you, boy. But don't worry. I'll take good care of it. My father left me that sword. You can't take it! I just did. If you want it back, you'll have to take it by force. I'll give you five years. <laughs> Damn it! Let it go for now, Spiro. We have a more important goal. Nice meeting you, kid. See you later. We need to be stronger, Spiro. We need to be much stronger. Okay, Visor. I trust you. Okay! I had no choice but to trust Visor. I knew that the world was falling apart. But my whole world was the village I grew up in. The only truth I knew was what I'd seen with my own eyes. On that day, my world began to expand. As it grew larger, I came to realize that the world was a harsher place than I had ever imagined. The sky was dark, and the cold rain washed away my hope, leaving only anxiety. Two years have passed since then. I still have faith in Visor. But the boundless world and harsh reality make me wonder, am I doing the right thing? Okay, let's save here. How are we looking? Boy, um, yeah, I think I'm going to cut this one here. I don't actually think that this is quite it for, like, the cutscenes and stuff. Um, I think after we save, we'll have at least a little bit more dialogue and stuff to do. But uh, I'm going to, I am going to cut this one here just because we're at pretty much the, the optimal time, so... All right, as always, I hope this guide was helpful, and I uh, hope you join me for more of these, uh, these videos for Stella Deus. Um, all right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.